folding tents, all of our pole tents, regardless of size, if it's a sectional tent, they all get folded exactly the same way. The reason we fold it the same way is so that when we bring it out into our squared box here, we can just set it down dead center on the end of the tent and in line with the eave of the tent and we can roll it out and we'll never have to move it again. So as this tent is rolled up, if this thing isn't gonna make me a liar, it's gonna lay right here. This is, this is the eave of the tent right here, going this way. So I should be able to, I should be able to just roll this out I should be able to just lay this out, dead center on the tent. The eave of the tent will line up with the stake that's over there and the stake that's over there. So that my eave line is right here. Oreo, would you grab that? And then it's just going to fold out once, twice, and then the last time this should be right to the corner of the tent which is right here. We had a mark right here on the ground underneath this pad. So I'm going to place the corner grommet right on that point right there. And when I fold it out the other way, it should also fold out the same way. Now, please note that when we did this, we did this one fold at a time. I see a lot of guys, grab it right at the last fold. I see a lot of guys that do this. They'll so grab that last fold and they'll just start pulling it like this. The only thing I don't like about that, not so bad on a small tent, but when you get into the bigger tents, you're dragging an awful lot of material across that drop cloth. If you do your folds one fold at a time, you will not drag your material. Again, you're gonna lessen the scratches, lessen the cuts, lessen the scrim mold. Now that's gonna pull out like that. All right, so I've laid my tent top out once. I don't have to move it. My corner pole grommet is lining up basically with the corner pole position that we pre-marked. Same thing down there. I don't have to twist it, I don't have to move it. All right. The convention that we use all ends, regardless if it is a loop end or a grommet end, it doesn't matter, all ends will roll toward the end of the tent. When you lay them out, you lay them out at the end of the tent and you roll them in. So when you're rolling them up, you roll them toward the end of the tent. When you lay them out, you lay them out at the end position and you roll them into the tent. Our mids all get rolled toward the grommets. Okay, if it's a grommet loop tent. If it's one that has grommets and loops on each side, doesn't matter which way you roll. But if it's a grommet, type tent where the grommets are all the way up one side or all the way down the other, we always roll to the grommet. No reason for that. It was a flip of the coin. Do we roll grommet? Do we roll loop? It doesn't matter. If you want to roll loop, go ahead. It doesn't matter. Just make sure you roll them all the same way. The reason for that, and unfortunately we have the wrong end out. Yep. The reason for that is that we always put out our loop end first. Because my mids are rolled toward the grommet, if I just set my mid right here and roll it out, it's gonna line up right. I don't have to worry about twisting it around or turning it around. So ends, roll toward the end. Mids, whatever you wanna do, it doesn't matter, but roll it, make sure everybody rolls them the same way, okay? And this is so, so much more important when you get into 60s and 80s. If you've ever had to pick one of those up after you've laid it down to turn it or to take it and move it 30 feet down because you got it in the wrong spot because somebody rolled it up wrong, it gets pretty irritating. So roll it all the same way. 